live from the Naples Beach Hotel and Golf Club. This is the R&R &R Show. I'm Chad Ricardo. This, the main man, Eric Richards. E, we're talking sixth grade right now. We're going to get to seventh grade, but we've got Team Tampa here representing. Team Tampa, my favorite restaurants. Colombian, Ybor City, and Burn Steakhouse, where I've dropped many a dollars, Chad Ricardo. <laughs> Joining us now, Coach Robert Dorsey and our main man, Coach Ace Acevedo. Gentlemen, go ahead and wave to all of your people at home. And if you all don't mind introducing us to our student athletes here. Um, this is Elias Acevedo, and this is Jaden Dorsey. Um, he's, he's a defensive end, and it's when he's playing. Wide receiver and safety. We got you all here because obviously you all had a tremendous uh, victory over Kansas City. You won that win 52 to nothing. Impressive game. Coach, tell me your thoughts on that game. I mean, the thoughts are the kids went out there, man. They're home, okay? They've heard for many years that when you're in Florida, sports goes through Miami. So they're hungry to bring home a championship for Tampa. And these guys have worked hard. I mean, Coach Duke, um, the head coach for the sixth graders, assembled a great coaching staff. I mean, they don't take anything for granted. They make these kids work hard. No matter what the score is, it's not enough. So these kids are grinding, and they're ready to bring a trophy to Coach Tampa. So, Coach Dorsey, so you're telling me you hear the same thing four hours north that the whole other run right. here. Right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we're hearing that four hours north. My, my sports comes through Miami, but we're showing them there's a new regime in Florida, not just Miami. The first game, Ace, uh, the first game you all won 52 to nothing. So that means in two games you all have a combined score of 102 to nothing, if I can get my math right. What's the strength of this team? Well, the strength of this team is, first of all, um, the director. We have a strong director. Uh, coach Damon, we have a, uh, a strong coach who actually picked a student, athlete, um, kids uh, to come and represent us. Right. And, and, and that's basically their strength. Uh, the coaches and uh, Coach Raymond also, uh, these kids, um, they're ready. They're ready. They want it so bad, they know it. You all, uh, the other matchup was, of course, Dade as they won over GFL by a score of 33 to 6. E, I know that we were very impressed by that GFL team. So for Dade to take them out by that score, what does that tell you about Well, this? I mean, and they did it on the defensive side of the ball. They didn't rely on their offense. Uh, they actually started the game down 6 nothing on a, on a, a halfback pass, a little trick play, and then they, they battled back, had two pick sixes. So it tells me that you better be careful throwing on. So we got a high potent offense yes. against a defensive backfield that can play. And uh, it's going to be, you know, I'm just, Dave, we knew. We yes. knew coming in that yes. they might get two of the three of these spots and stuff. We didn't know about Tampa. Correct. We didn't know about Georgia Middle School that we're going to talk about in the seventh grade. Uh, th those are the surprises, but it just shows they're good coaching in other parts of the country. And this is obviously a matchup that uh, has a bit of a regional feel, but it's going to be played on the national level. What does it mean to you all's program to be playing Dade and have an opportunity to not only win a national championship, but to do it against that 305? I mean, it's going to mean a lot for these kids, man, because these kids have grown up. That's all they heard is a 305. So for them to go ahead and bring a trophy home for the 813, it's going to be huge. And the turnout that we're going to see next year to really come out and represent the 813 is going to be amazing because they're going to see that Tampa has some real talent. All right, Coach Dorsey, thanks for joining us. And we're going to talk to your opponent a little bit. If you want to stay over there, we'll see if they'll give any tips well, we, about what they're going to run at the 7th grade level. We, we, we got to ask them, do, do you all want to uh, want to speak to this matchup on the 7th grade level first? I of mean, you, know, we, we, you, you all are going to uh, you're going to be facing up against a tough GMSAA squad. I mean, you all won uh, over Seattle 40 to 12. I mean, to run over that talent, that speaks a lot. How did that game go? I think I think with that we do have a lot of speed. We do have a lot of strength. Our defense is awesome. Our offensive line is, it, and they're both teams. They're great, both of them. It's going to come down to the best team who has the best speed, who has the best defense, and who scored the most points. Fellas, thank you all very thank much you. for joining us. Those doors, save me a reservation now. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's not let it fill up. Thank you, fellas. Thank you very much. Talking about that Georgia Middle School team. Yes. Just like Tampa, it's their first venture into the uh, the old quarterfinals. Correct. And then they weren't satisfied with just getting here, Chad. They, they're, they're in the championship game. And this is something that we had an opportunity to speak about yesterday. Coach Evans. We talked about the fact that there were going to be two teams that were going to be here for Marquee. the first time, and they made it all the way. We're going to get Coach Evans over here. we got to get him out of the water and swim in the sharks. This is okay. paradise, and everybody is taking advantage of that. This GMSAA squad, we know that they've been uh, built upon defense. They've got a stellar defense. What are your thoughts on this team? 
the the GMSA team, I got to see them, you know, in the regionals and everything. Correct. They went through a tough Kentucky team, to a tough GFL team. So they've been battle tested. I, I wasn't worried about that. But to see this program and the director, Marquis Smith, and Fred Larson, and they stayed with the program. We talked about it on opening ceremony day. They didn't give up. They didn't go run and play in other Correct. tournaments that they could have probably won. Because I'm telling you, yeah. that this league overall yeah. is probably more talented than what that football is. Correct. It just took these guys coming in, getting a system together because they're so big. They have how many uh, middle school programs, Marquis, are playing under? We have 40 programs. 40 the programs. Hours. They're double the size of GFL, Chad. And so that took a little bit longer to get, get organized. And, I, and I, you know, they gave GFL some games in the past seven years. There was several games where it was a one-point game of who moved on. So they knew that they were kicking down the door, kicking down the door, stay with the correct plan, and here they are. Coach, you, we not the little brother no more. Well, well, that, no, that's not. what I was going to say. <laughs> coach, uh, coach told me that this was the revenge tour. It's in a full session right now. A very tough matchup against uh, Team Metro Maryland. You all were able to knock them off. Coach, talk to me about that game. Oh, again, I guess every time I talk to you, I talk about how big the team is. Right. <laughs> this is like we're the smallest team around, man. Metro Maryland. Uh, we had a comment after the game to one of the high school guys at school. He says that was the best game he's seen play on the field in wow. high school. So wow. it was just back and forth, back and forth. Yeah, me and Chad are over at the other field right. in, the, in the in the game that never ended between Seattle and Dave, but we're watching the score and we're like, oh man, that's right. a good one too. We were in our own double overtime over there, Derek. Talk about a few of the stars on the offensive side and the defensive side okay, that Georgia we, Middle School has. Well, it's, it's, it's still around running back. We have, a, we have multiple running backs, but David, but me, 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 but Exactly. Man. And once he gets going, the whole team just speeds up. But what we have right now, and it is a run, uh, quarterback, he's, he took over in the fourth quarter. He had long runs. He scored our winning touchdown. Yes. And with those two leaders, we're going to score for this. Of course, quarterback uh, Malachi Singleton, if I'm correct about that. And I know that also uh, Javon Hall also uh, did some things for you all as yeah, well. Yeah, he he's our defensive leader. Um, anytime we seem like we need a turnover or a big stop, um, Javon is right there. You all were down in the second half, is that correct? Yes, you were down we by never the led to the fourth quarter. How did you all uh, turn this around and end up winning the game? Keep shopping with them. We kept hitting them. Like I said, they came out and slapped us in the face. And I think they thought we were going to back down. Like, uh, like Eric said, we've been in tough battles all the way. So our kids didn't get down. And they just kept going, just kept going. And once we got the lead, I knew that was it. Chad, the Kentucky team directors are here. They came right. down for the uh, TD meetings and stuff. Their money before this started was on this team right here. Really? Yep. Wow. Because wow. Kentucky had, they thought they would had the team to come here and make a beat to win. Uh, yes. And it was just unfortunate that we met them in the first round. It's unfortunate for them. It's very fortunate for you all. <laughs> yeah. I tell you what, seventh grade championship matchup, this Tampa team, this is a squad that knocked off Dave. A very good Dade squad. I mean, in the sixth grade, of Dade, Dade had won the championship. Eric, right? talk about how many points are offense put up at the seventh grade level. Um, we're, we're, we're having um, 25, 20 points a game. And again, everyone likes our offense. I like to stay up. <laughs> Defense wins championships, Defense that's win. for sure. Uh, if, if you can stop them from scoring, that's our uh, belief. Stop them from scoring, a little bit scoring, you have a good chance of winning. Marquis, what would you like to say to the rest of Georgia Middle School back there? All those athletes are coming up. This team's going to be scary next year because I know your program will add even more players that aren't with him this year. But as far as building and getting this FBU National Championship, give us a little bit about what we can expect out of the Georgia Middle School program moving forward in the FBU tournament. We're just going to get bigger and better. You know, we're going to try to bring 9 U to you along with 6th, 7th, and 8th grade so we can make this a whole Georgia affair. What happens tomorrow evening, folks? What happens tomorrow? Georgia's raising the mountain. <laughs> there you go. We got it right Georgia's here. Ra Put it mountain. up on the Georgia Apple Middle School tough. website. Apple Apple tough battle. I know Tampa's going to be tough, and best team going to win. Here we go. Gentlemen, thank you all very much for joining the show. We had Tampa in the house. We got GMSAA in the house. We're going to have two dynamic finals coming at you tomorrow. On behalf of these gentlemen, my main man, Eric Richards. This is the R&R &R Show from Naples Beach Hotel.